What's up, you sweaty nerds and greasy degenerates? The Ruan Mei recently released in Honkai Star Rail, and although I already put out an extensive build guide for her, going over even her ultimate rotations, I did say I would do a follow-up once she released because there's some interesting information that I wasn't able to talk about before now. But now I'm able to talk about a permanent uptime ultimate Ruan Mei and actually show you guys the math and equations and all the different values that I wasn't able to show you before because that was before she released. So let's dive into this. Go ahead and check the timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead in the video. Firstly, we're going to be going over some of the different equations and other things like that, different values I wasn't able to show you before. Going over a three-turn ultimate, four-turn ultimate, and even a hypothetical two-turn ultimate with Ruan Mei. But spoilers, you're probably not going to be able to get it. And then towards the end, I'm going to go over a permanent uptime ultimate with Ruan Mei that we can potentially achieve. But again, spoilers, you're probably not going to get that because you're probably not a whale. So let's dive in. All right, so now that Ruan Mei is actually out in the game now, I can go over some of the different values and things like that, show you some of the math that I wasn't able to show you before because I put out the build guide before she had released in the game. So I wasn't able to show you guys all of this stuff in order to help make the build guide. I wasn't able to show you that you can use memories of the past at superimposition one or memories of or memory Jesus. <laughs> you can use memories of the past S1 or meshing cogs S1 in order to have a four turn ultimate. So even free to play players can have a really powerful Rue on May. We'll go over that in just a moment. We'll go over a hypothetical two turn ultimate. Just just be aware. Spoilers, none of you guys are gonna get this. Okay, none of you guys are getting a two-turn ultimate rule on May, okay? So just, just we're gonna go over it anyway, hypothetically, but you're just you're not gonna get this, okay? Like you you could win the lottery more easily than you can probably get that. Um and we are gonna go over a permanent uptime ultimate rule on May. We're gonna go over a three-turn ultimate rule on May. This is what everybody wants right here. This is what everybody wants, including the whales, by the way. Everybody wants a three-turn ultimate Ruan Mei, and we'll go over that in just a minute. Her values, yada, yada. Let's first take a look at her ultimate and what it actually does. God damn, she looks cute. Um, so your ultimate with Ruan Mei deploys a field that lasts for two turns. The field's duration decreases by one at the start of her turn. So you can use her ultimate during her turn or after her turn, yada, yada. You get the picture, and you won't lose anything. It only decreases at the start of her turn. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. So that's her problem is that it only lasts for two turns. And as you may have noticed, a lot of people are trying to build a three turn ultimate Ruan Mei. Um, and that's pretty much where we're stuck at because even with memories of the past at super imposition five, even with an energy regen rope, even with the Penacony set, you are only getting a three-turn ultimate out of Ruan Mei, and we're just barely getting there. She has a 130 energy cost, and she has... This will get you, this rotation I'm telling you guys about here, this will get you her ultimate with 131 energy. Something to be aware of, I have not included the 10 energy you can get if you are hit in battle, because you can't guarantee that that is going to happen. So that's why I did not include that in the math. You can technically get a three turn ultimate sooner if, or actually you can get her ultimate sooner technically if you do get hit. But as I will show you guys in the hypothetical, you're going to have to get hit four different times. You would have to get hit four times in only two turns in order to get enough energy to be able to have her ultimate available within those two turns so you're probably not gonna get this but we will go over this stuff so let's get let's start at the top here ruin maids energy regeneration values you get five energy at the start of every turn that's from one of her traces she gets that right here trace you see it uh, that's not the right one uh, that's not the right one here we go ruin may regenerates five energy at the start of every turn there you go she gets five energy for her ultimate every time she uses an ultimate she gets 30 energy per skill 
and she gets 20 energy per basic attack and like i said before 10 energy if she gets hit in battle but we're not going to include that math in any of the actual math that matters like this um you get memories of the past at superimposition five and you'll get eight energy every time ruan may uses her basic attack and you will only get that eight energy once per turn and only when she uses a basic attack if you don't have super in position five you're only gonna get four energy per turn if you have it at super in position one and we will go over a super in position one ultimate rotation a little bit later on so let's get back to the three turn ultimate you can have a three turn ultimate her energy cost for her ultimate is 130 if you have memories of the past that super in position five if you have our energy regeneration rope and if you have Pentacony set you don't have to use the Pentacony set technically you could use the sprightly set as well let's just go you know for the sake of anyone who's watching that might need it you can use this sprightly set it does give you five energy regeneration but the Pentacony set is simply better because if you have anybody on your team any ally on your team other than her that is also an ice type damage type they will get plus 10 percent damage so anybody with a jing liu anybody with a yang shing even pela by the way even pela is going to get a damage buff from this pentacony set and pela has an aoe okay so that's pretty valuable all right she hits literally all the enemies at once that's pretty good so don't forget about that now that means this is the most optimal situation we can basically build. You have to have memories of the past at superimposition 5, or this is not going to work because you just barely get enough energy with this situation. Now, sure, you could have a superimposition like 3 or a superimposition 4 or maybe 2, whatever, um, memories of the past, and then you could end up getting hit a bunch of times getting you the energy you need so don't feel like it's impossible but the math that i'm doing here is using memories of the past super in position 5 er rope and pentaconi that's what this math was done with so let's take a look at the actual rotation here so you get five energy for using her ultimate doesn't matter when it was as long as you use this like during the turn before the turn you get the picture she will get the five energy so five energy for her ultimate five energy for her turn starting 30 energy for her skill and so by the way we're doing skill basic basic so maybe i should write that down here hold on skill and basic and we'll just do that again right here basic so that people understand it's skill basic basic so then you'll use five energy for the start of her turn she gets eight energy from memories of the past as five and again 20 energy for the same thing this is the basic she gets with a memories of the past at s5 you will get 28 energy total same thing as turn two start a turn basic you get the picture this will give you 106 uh, energy and if you have er rope and pentacony you'll have 124.4 energy regeneration instead of 100 so you'll end up, instead of having 106 energy, you'll actually end up getting 131.86, which is just barely enough to get a three-turn ultimate out of your Ruan Mei. This is the build that everybody really wants. Even whales don't necessarily want to have the, um, you know, this even if even whales might be using her signature here, instead of this but even whales are going to want a three turn ultimate ruan may and we'll explain why in a second here because three turns is optimal that's what we want we want a three turn ultimate ruan may even if we're using her signature that does have some energy regen on it you still need as much energy regen on her as possible to get to a three turn ultimate so let's move on to a hypothetical scenario with a two turn ultimate okay so a two turn ultimate is technically possible but you're not probably gonna get it it's really not something you should really go for 
because you do combine turn one and two here. That will give you the 73 energy, which is the same as this value right here. You subtract turn three, which is 33, which would be this turn right here. And you can add 10 energy for every time you get hit in battle. If you get hit three times in battle, you'll get 30. But that's not going to be enough. You're going to be just barely short of being able to get an ultimate out of your Ruan Mei because the energy cost is a little bit too high. You would have to get hit four times in order to be able to get an ultimate out of a Ruan Mei in two turns with the most optimal potential build you could be using for faster ultimates. This is the fast ultimate build right here that you are looking at. Right here. This is it. And even with this, you would have to get hit four times in order to get a two-turn ultimate. So not something you should be relying on at all. Now, with a Memories of the Past at Superimposition 1, you can get a four-turn ultimate out of your Ruan Mei. You would have to use a skill, and you'd have to use a basic, and uh, you'd have to use a basic again here. And then on the last turn here, you're going to use a skill. This can get you an ultimate because you'd get 133 energy for this particular setup here. This would take you to, you know, enough to get your four turn ultimate. So even free to play players can have a really powerful Ruan Mei and you would only need memories of the past or you can also use meshing cogs as well. You could use meshing cogs or memories of the past. Just be aware that memory meshing cogs doesn't have any break effect. So memories of the past is more ideal. That's what you really want. Now, let's go ahead and dive into a really big problem with this whole scenario. So Ruan Mei's ultimate gives you a two turn field duration. And she gets a lot out of that field. She gets a lot of bonuses for your whole team. The problem is you need idol on six. It extends the duration of the ultimate's field by one turn. And yeah, she gets a 200% damage multiplier. So the only way that you can get a permanent uptime on your Ruan Mei's ultimate is if you have her Eidolon 6. Because this will give you the extension to her ultimate. And if you have this build right here, the jesus where to go the three turn ultimate right here if you're using this then having her idol on six as well will give you a permanent uptime on her ultimate and that's not i'm not gonna lie that's dog shit okay that is bad okay because i mean check this out asta you can get a permanent uptime on your ultimate with asta at super imposition four you can get a permanent uptime with a Hanya at Super Imposition 4. Oh, sorry. Eidolon 4. You get... Jesus Christ. Did I really say that? Eidolon 4 Asta will get you a permanent uptime ultimate. Hanya will get you a permanent uptime ultimate at Eidolon 4. Ultimate duration extended. Eidolon 4. It's a 4 star. And she gets it at Eidolon 4. This 5 star doesn't get it until Eidolon 6. This is what we call in the business whale bait. Uh, if you guys let me know in the comments if you guys are aware of any other Eidolon that is more whale bait than this. There's probably something I'm not thinking about. Maybe maybe some DPS character that has an Eidolon 6 that's super cracked. But this is the only way you can keep a permanent uptime with Ruan May's ultimate. It is only available to us through her Eidolon 6. That is the only way that you can do it. Because like I tr like I showed you here, this hypothetical two-turn ultimate, good, good luck getting hit four times in the middle of battle. If you're getting hit four times in the middle of battle, it doesn't matter that you got a two-turn ultimate. You're going to die. <laughs> like, it, who cares if you got a two-turn ultimate? If you keep getting hit four times every turn, every two turns, you're going to die, son. All right, like it's, it's not going to be a good time. <laughs> it would not be fun. So that is how we can build a, a two turn or sorry, a ultimate with a permanent uptime on our Ruan Mei 
and it is through whale bait so only whales are going to be able to do this and that is a really unfortunate situation uh if you're interested in how to make a permanent uptime ultimate hanya and a permanent uptime asta check the pinned comment and description below for those build guides i'll put them in there i'll also put the build guide for ruan may itself down there in the description and pinned comment down below if this video was informative or helpful in any way shape or form consider leaving a like and subscribe because if you do ruan may might let you touch her butt peace out